Hello Copic in the Craft Room fans. Welcome back to Copic in the Craft Room on YouTube. Today I am playing with some Dare to Be Artsy stamps. This is one of their Snowflake Winter sets and I am really excited again to be stamping with my Copic ink. So I've got my stamps and I have a, my this particular time I'm using a Tim Holtz um, stamping platform. So I am going to set this up and get us ready to stamp. So I've spaced out, I'm kind of spacing out all those little snowflakes and you probably saw I just flashed the colors that we're gonna use real quickly. I'm only using four markers and I'm doing these solid. I'm doing fun, bright colors and I'll kind of go over them as I'm coloring the snowflakes, but I'm placing it on my paper and I do want them to overlap the edges. You're going to see I'm going to stamp multiple times and really fill that page or fill that page up. And I'm not super concerned of exact placement. So the first one I'm going to use, I'm going to pull out that R14. It's kind of a orangey red color and I'm going to color up two of those snowflakes. Now Copic ink dries really fast and I know it's drying right away. This is a BG45 that I'm using on the next two. But remember, I'm gonna re-wet these here in a minute, so no concerns. Take your time, it's not a rush. Um, the next one I'm using is a Y19, real bright, intense yellow. I have found that the more intense colors work better for this process. This is an RV66, again, I'm using the side of my um, brush nib, but you could use your chisel nib as well. Either one's gonna work. If it gets a little on the edges, it's not a big deal. This is not a real precise process. Um, it's gonna be soft edges, look a little more like watercolor. I'm going over some of those a second time to make sure I got those edges real good. And then I'm gonna use a mister filled with colorless blender, and I'm just spritzing them like once or twice stamping on top of that paper. You'll notice I have that blotter sheet, sheet underneath. Now I could respray and stamp this a second time, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start moving that paper around and kind of lining up where the stamps are sitting so that I actually have the edges really covered because I wanna use more of this and so I'm just literally spritzing it again because I know I didn't use all my ink and stamping that corner moving my paper again remember the ink is mostly dry on the stamps so if it touches down it's not a big deal but I'm kind of hovering above and swirling my paper around to find which corner and sorry I've kind of fallen off but same thing I'm spritzing the stamps and stamping one more time to get the other corner of that paper and you're going to be able to see, I'm going to do one more little piece, again, kind of twisting and turning that paper, reattaching those magnets. I'm using a little more ink this last time. This is the first time I've added ink. So I've already stamped three times. This is the fourth time spritzing with my colorless blender and stamping one last time. So I've got this page kind of full of snowflakes and I could do a whole lot more than that. And then I've picked out some really fun paper also from Dare to Be Artsy. This first one is not part of their holiday set. Um, it's actually a spring set that has butterflies on the opposite side. You'll see that here eventually. And then I have this beautiful snowflake paper from their Christmas set, which I love. I'm using that a couple times this week. And then I decided since this is pretty simple, what I'm gonna do is break it up even further. So I'm gonna trim this down. And the, this part, the card itself is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. But then I decide to do kind of three quarter inch strips and leave some little gaps in between them. So I'm even cutting like little in between pieces. And then I said, I've got kind of some white space ha happening. So I take a chunk off and I do two more kind of three quarter inch sections. Again, leaving a little bit of space in between. And I could do something with that last little strip if I wanted, but this will give me something to start with. And then my tape gun comes out. There were those butterflies real quick on the back of that first sheet of paper. Tape that down. There's a beautiful plaid on the back of the snowflake. I'm having a hard time because those are some of my, like two of my favorite patterns that, from Dare to Be Artsy. And then I'm laying out these little strips. And the next trick is kind of spacing them out. 
I am a true eyeballer when it comes to spacing things. I really, I wish I could tell you I did this much more mathematically, but I'm just lining it up as best I can. I do the two outside pieces first, and then I kind of eyeball about how much space. I'm trying to line up the tops and bottoms, add a strip of tape on the back of each, and just stick it down. Of course, you know me, it also means I'm probably gonna peel one up. In this particular case, I don't have to, but a lot of times it means peeling something up. So I've got them all attached down and I decided it's not quite enough. And so ran back to the craft room and came out with a multi-liner. This is a 0.3 navy multi-liner and I'm just dueling right around the edges. So I'm just doing those horizontal stripes first. I'm running this right up along the edge of that paper as a guide and then hitting those little ends and corners. Nice and slow, but just to give it a little accent. I also brought out with me some stickles. And so I'm going to go over some of the details on the snowflakes, give it a lot of shimmer. It's a clear um, shimmer one. And so got a lot of glitter going on, add a little bit of dimension and a lot of shine. So I'm adding some detail on all of those little snowflakes and finishing up this card. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And if you have not had a chance to, please go ahead and follow my YouTube channel so you can get a little video in your inbox each week. And also check me out over on Facebook, Copic in the Craft Room. And then just so everybody knows, I've been starting to announce new Copic classes over at my personal blog and on Facebook. So check out both of those spots so you can stay on top of the new Copic agenda. Thanks for joining me. Have a happy, colorful week.